welcome to Joel Creates. And to those of you who have been here for a while, welcome to Joel Creates. Today we're gonna to be uh, giving me a haircut because I really desperately need one. I've actually invented a special Ushanka hat that removes excessive amounts of hair. First, you place the cap on your head. Then, you have to tuck in any excessive amounts of hair that you don't want. Once I put the hat on my head, the only thing that I have to do is leave here, go get a haircut at a real barber, and then come back, set up the camera in the same position, and then put my hat on in the same position as if I wasn't just at the barber, and this is all a continuous shot. Then when I take it off, it looks like the thing cut my hair. Even, huh, yeah, it works pretty well. In this episode of Joel Creates, we're gonna be messing around with something that's a little bit more difficult to cut than just hair. We're gonna be cutting glass. Glass is not an easy substance to cut. I had messed around a little bit with cutting glass in the past, but this was my first real try to actually make something. I found two recycled glass bricks for only five bucks at the recycled building materials store. I had to carefully chip off the mortar that had them stuck together and then clean up the sides with some acetone. I had found these really cool looking speakers at the same resale shop months ago. I knew eventually I'd find a use for them, but I wanted to wait until I thought of a really unique enclosure idea. The really cool thing about these glass speaker enclosures is that you can see the back of the speaker. The backs of these speakers have a really cool vintage look that I'm super happy I get to showcase. This was a bit of an experiment. The cutting didn't quite go as well as I would have hoped, but I was able to get the holes cut with minimal cracking and damage. The method for cutting glass that I chose to employ was to actually submerge my cutting area in water. There's a few different reasons that this technique is helpful. One is that it helps to dissipate heat rapidly. Glass is a really hard substance and it doesn't dissipate heat easily. So it builds up a lot of friction heat on the cutter, which can very quickly ruin it and cause the glass to crack. Anytime you cut a material, you're going to release some dust into the air. And glass dust is particularly nasty stuff that you do not want to breathe. Submerging the cutting area in water traps the glass dust in the water. The water also helps to lubricate the cutter as it's cutting the glass. When I used a larger cutter that took off more material with every pass, I had worse cracking on the inside. For the second enclosure, I used a smaller cutter and I took off much less material with every pass. I then cut small slots in the back of each speaker, and this is where I ran the wires through. I stuck the speakers to the enclosures using some heavy-duty double-sided foam tape. This stuff is incredibly sticky, and when you have a non-porous surface stuck to another non-porous surface, it actually forms a very tight bond. If you look closely at these speakers, you'll see the faults. They're not perfect. But it was really cool to play around with this, and I think that the speakers are still structurally sound enough to be used. Let's hear how they sound. I have a couple quick announcements before I go. A lot of you have been asking me about my music. Where you can listen to it, where you can find it online, is it on iTunes, do I have a SoundCloud? I have not been very good at publishing my music for the public, which is surprising for a guy who studied music and business in college. I just wanted to say that I hear you, I'm super excited that you like my music, and I'm working on coming up with some good solutions so that my music is readily available and you can listen to it on its own. If you enjoyed this video, you know, hit, hit the, 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 the the button. I'll catch you next time.